Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is FPGA that is Field Programmable Gate Array. In the earlier session, we have studied PLDs that is Programmable Logic Devices, then uh, Complex PLDs, CPLDs and so on. Next uh, device in this series is FPGA that is Field Programmable Gate Array. Now, first of all, uh, we'll study the architecture of uh, FPGA. Before that, let us say uh, there are many uh, subsystems, there are many logical circuitries which we want to interconnect. So, to interconnect such logical circuitries, it is required to make use of global control signals as well as global data signals. So, before discovery of FPGA or such devices, people were using custom integrated circuits and these custom integrated circuits were used to interconnect different uh, logical circuitries. But the problem was the interconnection was uh, complicated as well as there, is, there was a problem of time delay. To avoid this, nowadays FPGAs are used. So as I said, FPGA is Field Programmable Gate Array. Uh, there are certain differences between CPLD and FPGA as far as the architecture part then uh, specifications are concerned which we are going to study in detail later. Presently, FPGA is applicable uh, uh, compared to CPLD, it is applicable for designing of complicated circuitries. Then uh, it can be the reprogrammed and made, as I said, custom integrated circuits uh, were having certain drawbacks. These drawbacks are overcome by making use of FPGA because you can implement a larger logical circuitry on a single uh, chip and it can be reprogrammed. So this diagram shows the architecture details of FPGA. I have shown different blocks in this diagram. These small squares which are uh, drawn everywhere around the structure represents input output blocks. So these, as the name indicates, these input output blocks are used to provide uh, interconnections from logical devices to the uh, packaging pins. Then this is the major block where I have written CLB that is configuration logic block. So different CLBs, different configuration logic blocks are used as shown in this diagram. Then uh, certain vertical lines are shown like this, certain horizontal lines are shown. These are called programmable interconnection. So very simple to interconnect. CLB that is configuration logic block. We have in detail mein discuss karne wale. CLB is the main block which is responsible for uh, designing the required circuitry. So to interconnect such uh, CLBs, configuration logic blocks to the other blocks, this programmable interconnections are used, which are shown by horizontal lines as well as some vertical lines. So these horizontal lines are also called Horizontal routing path, vertical lines are called vertical routing paths. So in simple language, programmable interconnection represents the routing path which is used to interconnect uh, CLBs that is com uh, configuration logic blocks to different things. Then I have written a summary uh, of each block CLB that is configuration logic block consists of lookup tables. Lookup tables are truth tables. Ye block diagram is CLB ka configuration logic block ka hum log discuss karne wale. So it consists of lookup table where required sequential circuit is implemented. That means we can implement the required sequential circuit by uh, writing a truth table or lookup table. Then input output blocks as we discussed, it provides interconnection between CLBs, that is configuration logic blocks and the packaging pins. Then programmable interconnections, GA jo hai, horizontal line as well as vertical lines, these are called routing paths. Then it also contains clock signals, that is it can be a global or input output clock network and it consists of a memory element. So flip-flops or latches are used to store the data. So these are the major blocks of architecture of FPGA. As I said, this is the block diagram of configuration logic block that is CLB. It consists of different elements like lookup table. Just like I have told you, we have to design a logical circuit for the truth table. So this is the lookup table. 
देन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेमरी इलेमेंट्स यहां पर दिखाए एस आर फ्लिपलॉप विच इज एक्टिंग एज अ मेमरी इलेमेंट टू स्टोर द डेटा देन लॉजिकल इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट लॉजिकल ब्लॉक्स एंड मक्स दैट इज मल्टीप्लेक्सर ये जो ब्लॉक्स दिखाए यहां पर दिस स्मॉल बॉक्सेस दीज आर द मल्टीप्लेक्सर बॉक्सेस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ लॉजिकल सर्किटरी लेट एस से इट इज हैविंग फोर इनपुट्स देन दीज फोर इनपुट्स आर शोन इन दिस डायग्राम ए बी सी डी so we need to write the truth table accordingly since we are considering four inputs the entries will be 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 1 up to 1 1 1 1 and the corresponding output is designed so that is the major function of a lookup table so to implement four input functions as is diagram me dikhaya a b c d we need to make use of 16 into 1 bit lookup table so this is about the configuration i mean uh, architecture of field programmable gate array now along with the architecture of fpga you may expect the question like this draw the architecture uh, of fpga and what is the need of fpga so let us discuss the need of fpga just now we discussed that before the uh, discovery of such devices like cpldis fpga custom integrated circuits were used to interconnect different logical sub systems but there was a problem of delay as well as interconnection was complicated so there was a necessity of a device which will implement all such logical sub systems on a single chip and that particular chip can be uh, uh, reprogrammed so to obtain such things fpgas that is field programmable gate array devices are used so entire system is implemented on a single chip and it can be reprogrammed many times as per the requirement then it improves the integration density almost integration density that means number of uh, sub systems that can be integrated together this integrated sub systems is improved almost 10 times compared to the earlier custom integrated circuit technology then it can handle more complicated functions and it can be configured by end users then we will discuss the feature this is about the need of fpga we will discuss the features of fpga so major features are easy configurations then high speed then it can be reprogrammed just now we discussed as per the requirement we can change the programming so these devices can be reprogrammed then the design cycle is short and it consists of flexible function generator and it has high reliability now as far as the specifications are concerned the specifications uh, depends on various parameters but the major part is clb that is configuration logic device logic block which we have already discussed this is the major block which is used to uh, design a sequential circuit so you need to uh, write a look look up table or truth table and accordingly design can be implemented so the specifications includes the system gates that means number of logical gates that are used in a particular fpga then logical blocks that is how many clbs how many configuration logic blocks are used uh, in that particular fpga then number of sift registers sr stands for sift registers then available lookup tables that means how many lookup tables truth tables are available then internal frequency this depends on the clock signal and internal frequency decides the speed of operation of that particular device then user input and outputs then operating temperature of that particular fpga external clock signal whether there is a provision or what is the external clock frequency that can be applied to that particular fpga and the number of pins that are used in that particular package of fpga then its applications applications of uh, fpga so basically fpga is used for implementation of logical circuitry which contains more than 1000 equivalent logical gates so major applications includes designing of fast counters then battery powered multi level logical circuitry and resistive intensive resistive intensive devices so this is about some major applications where fpgas are used so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video